Okay, welcome back Transformer TCG fans. Just a quick recap. Just a few things you might need to know if you've never really played the game before. Bold. Okay. Okay, you have characters, you have an alt mode, you have a bot mode. These are combiner cards. So instead of, oh, I don't have anybody next to me. So instead of having a big card that you flip from alt to bot, these are both on, on the same side. So you, you might need a an extra card from outside the game to cover it up or uh, to cover up the side that is not active. Or you can just do this, like this, and just take them out of this. This is what they originally meant for, for folding, so you can still flip it. Once you combine them all into, into their mode, you piece it all together like a big puzzle. Uh, I have seen, if you look at some of Reckon Rules, uh, old videos, uh, you'll see it was hilarious when they were playing Predator King and Joe just, he combined, he played his, his card, and he uh, went and had this thing where they were all put together. Um, or maybe he copied and put it on stock paper or something, and just, it was, boom, you know, he didn't have to worry about piece that it was hilarious it was, you'd have to have been there but i'm sure the video is still on youtube but as per normal each turn you can flip a character tap a character for attack flip two cards for attack and then two cards for defense when you flip a white either time you can flip two more uh, blues are add up your defense. Oranges add up your your damage, your attack damage. Okay, uh, bold lets you flip one more or two more, depending whatever the number next to the word bold is. Tough lets you flip more for defense. Excuse me. Bold lets you flip more on the attack. Tough let lets you flip more on the defense, depending on the number beside the beside what it is like dead end has tough one uh drag strip has pierce one in this mode uh pierce is like guaranteed damage let's say uh we attack uh with with drag strip and flip for his attack we have four five i've got a black uh pip right here which is also pierce so that's Pierce 1, Pierce 2. He has an attack of 5, Pierce 2. Um, if your character defending, if the player flips more than 2, uh, or if their defense totals more than uh, 2, that you will get them for 2. You are going to guarantee damage with Pierce. Um, but it can never be more than what you have flipped for attack, which is their their base and plus what you flip. So you know, the pierce cannot be more than five uh, per se. When you flip, if you have cards in hand and you do flip a, a green pip, you can swap it out for another card in your hand you don't want. It does not have to be green. You can just swap it out. Uh, when it comes to you playing with combiners, and I'm not a professional. I'm just someone that really enjoys the game. So when I was trying to figure out how to play this game for eight plus months, and every time a new set would come out, I read the instructions like it was the Bible. Uh, when I got a new deck, uh, the Metroplex deck, or the Devastator deck, or Wave 1, whatever, um, the, the, the starter decks, I... I <laughs> read those things so very literally you wouldn't believe uh, uh, understand my dilemma because this is the game that got me into card games i'm not a card game person despite i have collected many card games through the past that i have never figured out how to play despite buying the instruction manuals for lord of the wing lord of the wings lord of the rings the wizards or even the original Star Trek The Next Generation card game where the book came with the, the Laughing Data card. I could not figure out either one of those games. Uh, I think Lord of the, the 
<laughs> and did it again. The Lord of the Rings, the Wizards, I think was more like D&D with cards. You still had to do a lot of corruption checks, um, which uh, was just almost overkill in trying to figure out your location and all this. And, and it was a, an adventure as you kind of went on. But anyway, this is Transformers. I do not know who Off-Road is, but these are the Stunicons. If you buy a box of Wave 2, you're more than likely going to be able to create Minasaur. They're all commons. Or Superion. The aerial bots are also all commons. This looks like a deck. It's just a bunch of cards, a, a lot of homemade cards that are mine and not mine and whatnot. We've got buddy cards. We've got my cards. We've got uh, art cards. There's racing stripes, spoils of war, which is a really good card. You're going to want to print out, especially for combiner teams. Um, basically, once the, the whoever goes first can draw, you can't play anything. The second person that goes can play one card and that's it. It can be an action or an upgrade. Then after that, each character, excuse me, each player can play an action and an upgrade for a turn. Um, I'm ignoring everything homemade, everything not wizards. So I'm not talking about my battle field cards. I'm not talking about zone cards. I'm not talking about ship cards. Um, let me say that better. Spaceship cards. I don't know anything about those. I really don't. Um, I remember looking at the zone cards and I'm just like, well, this doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. Why this says this and this and this, but anyway. Um, so as per turn, with the combiner cards, you're going to want to uh, be doing a few things. First of all, like I said, if you flip for attack or defense, let's say, I don't know, we've got breakdown and drag strip are in bot mode. We have off-road is in the KO, and sometimes I'll put them upside down if they're in the KO. Um, well, then I get to flip somebody for turn and yes, you can flip in the KO. To me, that's very key. If you don't want to flip characters in the, in the battlefield and you can flip, you should flip. That's just me or if it's just not transformers. If that puts you at a disadvantage, then that's strategy. Um, but that's just me. Not everybody, the professionals say you don't have to flip each turn, but I say yes, but I'm, don't listen to me as far as that is concerned. Uh, that, that's just a nitpick of me from what I was saying. I read the instructions very, very literally. I took it very little, li very literally trying to understand this game for almost 12 months until I finally got un and understood this game. So let's say we, we have drag strip and breakdown in bot mode. We have off road, whoever the heck he is in, we flipped him for turn. So Let's say he, my black cards on a, on a black mat. Sorry about that. Uh, I can draw for turn. Um, like I would have this many cards in my hand. Um, let's do this. Let's just get a few cards. Say I draw something. This is my deck. And I've got, I've got stuff in my hand. All this is homemade, except for uh, Swindled, which you would also, also definitely want a... An, this uh, card in with your an all Decepticon deck so you can play uh, more than one up, upgrade. Um, so we tap for attack. Let's say, I don't know. No, you do that last. Your attack, your attack is always last. Play an action card, which is swindled. Draw two cards. Scrap two cards. You can play a, an upgrade from Swindled and then an upgrade for turn. That's, uh, you know, I'm just giving uh, examples. These cards, this is not really a good deck for these guys. It's just I threw some stuff together. Um, dead end attacks. And we, we flip for attack. We can only do two because he has no bold. This is for tough, etc., etc. Well, I, I flipped a green. So, well... I don't need May Smash because I don't have Sharktacon, so I'm going to swap for the Enigma. So now I have the Enigma. Enigma. Um, your player goes, you go again. 
in the meantime, you are uh, trying to get all your characters in bot mode. We do have a card called Rapid Conversion. Rapid Conversions can help you get extra flips in. Um, eventually, you're going to be able to get all your characters in bot mode in this same turn. And let's say drag strip is knocked out too. It does not matter. They all have to be in bot mode. Yes, even in the KO. Because if you read the Enigma, you cannot combine without the Enigma. This is a whole brand new concept um, that comes from that internet show, uh, Combiner Wars, uh, about 10 years ago, eight, eight, 10 years ago or so, maybe not that long ago, um, where... Mark Hamill, they had some superstars doing some of the voiceovers, and it was just not, it was, to me, it was the drama uh, as the wind blade turns for me. Uh, it got kind of old, but it wasn't bad. It looked good, but it went, it just went really slow. Well, you can play an action, and I can play an upgrade, but I'm going to play my Enigma now. Boom. Enigma in the, in the, in the shiny light. So instead, now, boom. You take them all, and you, like when you were 12, you said, hey, time out, I gotta transform. It, that takes 20 minutes for, for me to, to transform for Optimus or something. Uh, no, seriously. Um, then you get them all in combined mode. Now, like I said, we had, let's see, we had off-road in the KO, and I'll just say drag strip. So you, what you have to do when you combine, yes, you're doing this on your turn. If you had somebody untapped, that all doesn't matter anymore. You are now one character that is now untapped. So you're going to be able to attack with them also. But before you do that, we need to add up, total up your damage. Let's just say, I don't know, we had about that much damage across all five characters. About 17 damage. So now their total health when they combine is 35 minus your 17 is what 18 health left so what do you do with your upgrades well they come on with them as long as they were on characters in the battlefield of course you can't put upgrades in, on characters in the ko anyway but they get they they come with it um they they and if you have like maybe two weapons or two armors or two utilities out there, you can only choose one unless the combiner says uh, differently. So now that Minasaur is combined, he has bold one, tough one, and pierce one. So, well, what do we do? How do we show, just, just put something on its side to signif signif signify you're attacking. Some people will do that. Some people will tap their, um, their upgrades instead. So he attacks, one, two, bold one for Minasaur, and then two more for the white pip. Uh, it's hard to see. I didn't flip any orange here. So there's nothing to add to his six attack other than the one off the seismic pinger, you know? So that he has an attack of seven, and I have a pierce one, and a pierce two. So it's attack of seven, pierce two against whatever your your the 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 character you're you're defending that you're attacking whoever the defender is you have to name your defender don't forget that um before you attack uh there is that now but you're saying but the enigma has two instruction uh, instructions on here yes uh and they go from top down from what i understand uh if you look at some of old wasi's videos on transformers as he revealed stuff uh, he, he mentions this, a lot of people mention this, that it, it's not exactly that the abilities are w working backwards. It's more like if the first ability hasn't triggered, you go on to the next one and etc. So if you have five stunicons in bot mode in your KO or in the battlefield, combine them into Minasaur. So I did. So this is scrapped. Okay, we call it your scrap. But if you end up getting this card again on a turn and you draw it and you're like, oh, I've got the Enigma again. Well, it still can help you. If you have Minasaur on the battlefield, draw two cards so I can draw two cards. Okay, so it is a great draw card um, with Minasaur. Um, so there is that. And 
pretty much that's how you play a combiner. You want to get them all to bot mode to play your Enigma. It doesn't matter if they're in the battlefield or the KO. Just get them all into bot mode, play your Enigma, and then you can combine. Make sure you watch your abilities about what happens when they combine. Um, and then your the the stuff that they have on here, like bold, any tough, any pierce, any well, maybe not really safeguard. Uh, so you're not going to see that on on really the official official characters like this. But um, I've I've I made a, my own defensor. I think the arc or somebody else has also made their defensor. So there's a lot of neat homemade stuff out there you can find and you can look. And if you have questions, how does this work? Just, just ask somebody. So everybody has been really friendly, really nice, very helpful. Um, I had to tuck my tail between my legs about this time last year when it came to making a few uh, custom cards myself and understanding. Uh, and uh, even Brian Allen has mentioned this before. How, you know, the, just the grammar. Every word means something. For, in, with, can't against upgraded enemies put on uh stunicons only when this happens when you flip while this is on uh so etc etc uh if you even want to get into that realm of making cards there's a lot of uh things to watch out for and things you have to kind of pay attention to so it fun game you know keep trying keep going um, I was trying to learn Dragon Ball, and then I, I guess I just gave up recently. Um, I played three games, and that's all I got to say about that. So, see you next time. How to play Minasaur, and this isn't exactly how to play Minasaur, but it's how to play a combiner team. Of course, some of the other combiners from Wave 2 are a little more in-depth than, say, Minasaur or Superion. Um, but maybe we'll look at them also uh, at a later date i still haven't gotten into secret actions which are which really not that big of a deal um gosh i'm about to run out of time the secret action where's an action card do i have a secret action in here um and they're they're really here's one fizzle this is a homemade one that i made that uh, was an idea from a year and a half ago summer 2020 when okay for first of all an action a secret action still gets played like an action it goes into play but it goes upside down you have to know remember how this is revealed because it's got two parts on here reveal when you when you flip it and then when revealed is what happens when you flip it so reveal when one of your character defends so if i have this minasaur is defending he gets attacked i can flip fizzle when revealed, your attacker's pierce fails. Uh, I may have updated this and reworded it a little differently, but that's what it means. You, uh, you're, you're, whoever is attacking Minasaur, their total pierce cannot, cannot, doesn't no, no longer work. We didn't have a card like this officially. Well, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Uh, I can see it. It also gives you plus one in defense as well. Uh, I just can't remember, the, remember it off the top of my head, but we only had one. We only had one, and this is basically like that, except it doesn't give defense. It just kills your attacker's total pierce. So, you know, there's that. So, and it, and this doesn't, and this actually gets flipped and activates when you are defending. Uh, other people have made other cards like rolling actions. Uh, don't quite get those yet. Um, they're similar to. A secret action. I think they can be triggered at any time during the game, but secret actions do the same thing. But rolling actions, you may not, you may leave them out and they may not be like that. I'm not sure about that. Uh, that those are someone else's ingenuity there and not mine. So I hope this helps you on, on your start to playing a combiner teams. We'll see you next time. Have a great day and thanks for watching.